Welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, guys. We're back here in seven. Now this is the next day. You saw me mowing from yesterday. It's kind of been yard work this week because I think we've had like rain, so much rain, but we've got like a three or four day window of just like sun. And we've had so much rain that it's hard to mow. And I needed to get these pastures mowed down. You guys saw what a couple videos ago, it's got like trees this tall everywhere. That's next on my list, but we've got a lake in the middle of it. So we went over here to pasture seven. Um, we got pasture six done on the far side. And the goal here is just to kind of mow it and hopefully give the grass a chance to grow. And this is what we've got, right? I mean, it's not pretty. I went through pretty quick with the mower, but if you guys remember two years ago when we had just all the animals that were sitting here, this was literally the dust bowl. This was nothing but sand and it was eroding down. Last year we planted some grass and I wasn't sure if it took and I don't know that I could say yes it took, but I can, I know I just kind of feel like there's been so much growth actually. So let's give you some examples. Like if we just came down here and we start looking, there's actual grass that's here. Now there's a lot of other stuff, but there's actual grass and it's coming in ever so slightly and the whole thing is greened out this hill is pretty barren but it's gotten not so barren um all of it across the board has actually come in really really nice this grass here so this could obviously be a lot better like, but it has been a lot worse so we're taking our little successes as we can, um, and things have generally been looking really, really good. Pasture six is over there. It has not fared as well. It's gotten so many weeds. And despite all those weeds that we had mowed, you see grass coming up in because we planted it. And I'm hoping that that's kept it, I don't know. I, I hope the, the seeds have been planted well and they grew last year in the drought but all of this has been coming in really really nice here's some better examples the grasses and whatnot but actually it looks really really nice guys yeah so i'm going to call this so far a success we're gonna to have to keep mowing it now the animals are due actually be moved out of pasture five ideally today they got to get out and their next rotation would be pasture six and then they would come here Six, I think what we're gonna do is actually give them an extra week to let that kind of grow. Since I mowed that, what day is today? <laughs> Wednesday, maybe two, three days ago. Mowed that and things are kind of coming back, but I wanna give it another week. So much moisture in the soil, as much as we've got, and with the sun just being in the 90s, I'm hoping this stuff really, really grows. They'll be there, then they'll come here. So we're gonna actually give a bale of hay to them, but guys, this is, what I call a success story but if you want to see how much rain we've had <laughs> we should go check out those lakes one of the advantages of doing the mowing now is that with the buffalo over there not needing hay because they've been on the pastures I've been able to just hook up the mower and leave it here for a number of days get in hop on mow park it get in mow park it and well like I said we're gonna give another bale of hay or a bale of hay the first one in like six weeks or more to the buffalo, but I do not want to take off the mower and I need to get the three point spear. So right now I'm gonna get that set up. Let's get some hay, go over, and I might actually while I'm there mow a little bit and uh, then we'll go check out that lake.
some of you guys are going to probably rip into a spell like using scissors, but it works good enough and I don't have to change blades every single like five bales. It's a lot easier when the buffalo aren't standing right next to you. We had it coming up. This was another place we planted. But these weeds are just evil. Part of the problem with mowing though is all the water. So this is B and to C. He won't be able to mow anywhere over there. So he'll probably skip this whole section of trees and cut down over here. Date. Still a lot of water. Our salt is dissolving again. I may make them not want to eat it as much though. All right, a little bit of pumpkin squash update. Still growing. There's the white ones. They're looking good. This dude's huge. Now that is a pumpkin. Seriously. It's huge. I'm so impressed. Keep growing. Anything else that big? No. Not really? I mean, there's maybe one a little big. A little big. I have to find the color. Here's the little orange guys. Here's an orange and green one. Oh. That's funky. Start our orange. So I'll start our orange and we'll go green. Yeah. Oh, more white ones. Oh, here's a big white one down oh. here. How's your friend? Oh, little guy. Oh, you broke them off. No, they're already broken off. Oh, he's harvested. <laughs> Grab them if they're broken off. We have tiny, oh, this one's cracked, but we have tiny pumpkins. Ellen, there's miniature pumpkins. They're so tiny.
pasture C, pen C. The grass isn't as thick as it was in seven and six, but hopefully the grass will actually, he can see little portions of it. It's not as thick, but you can see stuff. So the reason I'm mowing is really to get the light down to the bottom and also to create kind of a mulch layer on top. So that way hopefully it helps keep some moisture in, but that is way sandy over there. So, I, you know, we planted that last year and it just doesn't seem to be as doing as well as that. And that's what makes me think that maybe that wasn't doing good, but different soil types. So anyway, all right. And then the other thing was I got on the, right after dropping that hay, I got on the tractor and I started smelling manure. And you know what? You always wear those nice shoes and then you step in some piece of something and you smell it the entire way. <laughs> so that's why we got mats for our truck. Anyway, all right, now today, right now, is it the lake? All right, let's go check out the lake and show you kind of how full that is because it's crazy full. All right, guys, this is our lake. All the way over there, it is literally about a foot from overflowing. You can kind of see it over there. Right here, it is just a couple feet from the edge, from the top road but it has never been this full that I have ever seen. This is like the second wettest year on record. And these pine trees, you can tell, pine trees don't live in water and they are submerged. Um, a tree fell down earlier, now it's been submerged as the rain has kept coming. You can see the bushes right over here actually coming up through the water, which is very, very, very unusual. Okay, let's come over here and you can see that pine tree. You can see that pine tree submerged. Across the way, that pine tree submerged. All of those over there, they are submerged. This lake is crazy full, which is great. And maybe it's the time to put like a dam it. It's like this uh, sealer that you put in there, D-A-M-I-T. The gels in there and kind of seals it. I think we do have a leak in there somewhere, but I just haven't done it yet, goodness. Goodness, guys, just right there. Here's the road. And literally a foot down, that's where it goes. All right. So two years ago, Charlotte cleared the brush off of this. And it used to look like that. And she went down and cleared all of that. That was dry. Across there, all those used to be dry. So this lake is absolutely overflowing. It's big. I wish it was always this big, and so that's why I would love to put that sealer stuff in there and seal this thing up. But it's not going to happen today, this year. We priced it out, and it's going to be several thousand dollars. And right now, we just got to get in the house first and then deal with all that then. So that is that lake. We showed you before the lake over here. You can kind of see it in the video, guys. It's just wet all in that center section. You can kind of see the rippling reflective, I hope. But all this water is just making it a little bit more tricky to mow. And so uh, there's certain areas on pastures I can't mow. Um, sometimes when I'm mowing, it's just laying the grass down. It's not cutting it fully. Um, but you know, every bit we do, bit by bit helps. And being able to have some time where we can just come out here and do two hours of mowing makes a big difference. So this ended up being a mowing video. <laughs> I don't know if that was intended when we first started. The John Deere 5075 is what we've been using and then it's an E12, E12, I think it was, batwing mower. That has just been the best thing ever. I almost wish I went 15 feet if I didn't have so many trees. So, all right guys, that's it. That's what's going on at uh, Blackacre Ranch. The house is still kind of the same thing it's been just because we've been having five inches of rain and uh, we're just gonna take this time to mow while we had the chance and things are drying out to quickly do that. So hopefully next week we start doing stuff, gable end, windows installation, and so forth. But I'm gonna try sneaking in some mowing here and there, all this and some other stuff as well. All right, we will chat with you guys later. Thanks for joining along guys, bye.